Yo, what's good? It's your boy Don from Diamond Eye Coaching and Entertainment. Coaching links down below. All my links down below. Look, let's get into the video. As you see, we're gonna talk about that Miss Mary Jane. Now, this is not an excuse for you to be smoking Miss Mary Jane all day. No, I don't want to hear. Oh, oh, J Dot told me I could smoke. That's why I'm smoking all day and not doing nothing. Nah, bro, because if you're really using weed correctly, I ain't gonna lie to you. We might be telling you, like, listen, don't smoke me like that. Or, or should it maybe be like, yo, on this one day, you can smoke weed, like, for the whole day and just receive mad information. And but, I, because I, I could tell you for me, bro, there'll be times where I'm smoking and all I'm getting inside my head is, bro, do your job, bro, do your job. I take like two hits, bro, do your job. Okay, time to put the freaking blood out and we do my job. Yes, okay? Because understand that weed could be a spiritual tool. It's not a crutch, though. It's a tool. You're not supposed to be dependent on it. You know what I'm saying? So if you're noticing, like, I use weed to benefit in some areas, but you could only benefit with the weed. That That is a little bit of a problem. Dependency is a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, as spiritual beings, we don't need anything. We have everything inside of ourselves. It's just that sometimes, you know, the weed may make things a bit easier. You see, how does weed even benefit you spiritually? It could benefit you because when it comes to me, right, weed opens me up. And it also makes me a bit more sensitive. So with that being said, because I'm hella open and sensitive, I could be like, okay, I want to receive certain information and my mind is hella open. You know what I'm saying? So it's easier to receive that information. And plus, because I'm more sensitive, I could tell like what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because like, for example, I have portal, bro, for, yo, if y'all, my spiritual journey nowadays is super crazy, bro. Like I'm on a whole different level than I was before. Like, I'm, you remember that little break I took? That break was fucking needed for sure. If y'all want to hear more about my shit, let me know. Cause I'm going to tell y'all anyway, like in later videos, but like, you know what I'm saying? I'll make it faster if y'all want this. Let me know. Cause my shit's been getting crazy, but I have portals in my room, right? For beings to come through. So I could always tell when a being comes through. And even when sober, I'm able to tell now, and I could tell what kind of being it is. I'm always able to tell nowadays. But before, I couldn't tell. But when I would get high, bro, I walk inside my room, them niggas just start flooding. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I would know. It's coming from that portal. It's coming from this portal. This being looks like that. That being looks like this. You know what I'm saying? When I got high, it was way easier. Now when I'm sober, I could tell. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you use that blue lotus with the weed, because that shit bullshit built. I swear to God, that shit makes certain shit, you know what I'm saying, like, way better. So, like, yeah. The weed helped me be able to tell what kind of beings were coming through, and I was more open to it also, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, if you want to grow with weed, right, you can ask the weed to help you grow spiritually, literally. And then it's going to open you up to, you know, the spirits that help you grow spiritually, aka the thoughts and emotions that help you grow spiritually. Because when you be thinking, because literally, when you do certain shit to grow in life, right, it starts with a thought. You think, let me do this, let me not do that. Then you actually start doing certain shit and then not doing other things. It starts from the thought to not do or to do certain things. Then you actually do those things and shit changes. So we can open you up to the whole game plan of how to fucking change your life. It can open you up to the whole game plan of how to evolve spiritually. You know what I'm saying? And while asking the weed how to evolve, the weed may show you not smoking. The weed may show you, yeah, you see how you're smoking this blunt? Don't do that shit. Or it may show you, you go a week being sober and then you smoke at the end of the week or some shit like that. Or it may show you smoking at a certain time of day. It may show you smoking throughout the whole entire day. You know what I'm saying? That may be your thing. Now, don't... Now, and, 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 but I, I doubt it's going to be like that every single day. You may be in a learning period where you where you smoke weed all day, every day, and just receive mad shit, but I doubt it's going to be like that for your whole entire life. Now, here's what people want to say. Here's what people might want to say. Snoop Dogg smoke oh, weed all day, every day, but you're not Snoop Dogg. Like, let's say your purpose is to... is to, it, like, like, Snoop Dogg's whole entire fucking persona and character is literally a fucking pothead. You know what I'm saying? His business and career is heavily built on weed. Now, if you're a fucking CEO for a, for a fucking battery company, right? Yeah, you may smoke weed a little bit to open you up, but you're not built on weed, bro. <laughs> like, like, you don't get paid to smoke weed now. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, sometimes you technically get paid to smoke weed because you may smoke weed to get an idea and some shit, right? But imagine, imagine you get an idea to, you know what I'm saying, build a crazy ass battery, right? You know what I'm saying? When you get that idea to build a battery, you're not fucking building a battery while high. You're building that shit while sober. You know what I'm saying? So because I'm saying that we can help you evolve, don't be like, oh, I'm going to smoke weed all day, every day. No, I just not what the fuck I said. That's not what the fuck I said. No, don't do that shit. What I'm saying is find time. You know what I'm saying? You know where, where you're at. You know, it's pretty peaceful. No one could bother you. You have good vibes and shit. And ask the weed, yo, can you help me evolve spiritually? Smoke the weed and see what you get. You may you may hear shit. You may just feel certain shit. You may you may you may get shown shit. You know what I'm saying? There's there's been times where I ask weed to help me become my higher self. And as soon as I smoke the weed while asking that while asking that question, I'll have like certain like fears pop up, or I'll just have certain shit pop up that's blocking me from my higher self. I'll even have certain memories from my past lives pop up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, the, the whole memory shit. I get those every single day while sober and off the weed. Like literally, I, literally, I'll be walking to the gas station sometime. Memory pop through. Holy shit. I'll be smoking weed, memories pop through. Holy shit. Yo, I was on the phone with my guy, King Cash, bro. My guy. That shit was amazing, bro. Just, just talking back and forth, memories on memories on memories, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was definitely great, bro. So, um, yeah, it's been, there's been that in my life, too. And and it started with the weed, I'm not gonna lie. The weed, the weed helped it a lot. You know what I'm saying? We're like, we're like when our first real memories were, were on weed like i was high as shit you know what i'm saying i got in the bed and i was like let me just try to do this shit and i just saw my shit and i got confirmation for my stuff too you know what i'm saying if you want to hear more about the whole journey with the past life shit let me know but like yeah bro weed is a powerful spiritual tool i'm about to smoke right after this you know what i'm saying and i'm and it's like it's like having an intent is very important you know what i'm saying a basic intent is be like weed help me spiritually evolve or weed help me open up to my spirit guys that's really my main thing i'm like i just i, I just ask to smoke and i and i just like yeah i'm like okay open me up to what i gotta see right now type shit you know what i'm saying what my spirit guys want to show me all that shit man i just smoke and i see what we gotta come through and truth be told i clearly do that without the weed you know what i'm saying i, I could do that without the weed and my spirit guys be like getting me to be like yo like make sure you do this shit without the wisdom time too you know what i'm saying like that shit that shit happens for sure and and let me tell you something also too how, how it can help you with certain shit so something i do to boost my psychic something that i do to boost my psychic abilities is that i'll hold up because i have tarot cards right and oracle cards right i'm gonna start doing those readings very soon be on the lookout for that shit bro y'all gonna fuck with them shits for sure but my, my my shit with that is like solid but I'll, I'll i'll get like a tarot card right and i'll look at the back of it and i'll try to guess what i'll try to guess what card it is like i might not be able to know oh it's the two of swords or this is the strength card but like i'll be able to feel like okay this one has swords energy or has it has mental energy it has air energy i feel certain negative emotion with this card like, i'll be able to I, I could see how my senses interpret the cards right now if i'm off weed right that helps and draws shit back because off the weed, I'm open to mad shit, right? So it's like some whole other shit may be coming through that has nothing to deal with the card. And sometimes too, bro, it's like, bro, this shit, I had to get used to this shit, bro. I still be trying to, you know what I'm saying, get used to this shit. I'll hold the card up and it's like, as soon as I put my awareness on it and try to feel what the fuck it is, it's like I'll get tired of shit. And it's like a dream scene will pop up. And, like, I'll come back. You know what I'm saying? And at first, I would think I'm just dozing off. Like, fuck, I'm trying to focus on this crap, but I keep on dozing off. No. I'm just so open that that the that the way I'm perceiving this card is through this big-ass fucking story that's making me doze the fuck out and kind of go into this weird mental hypnotic state where I'm seeing this fucking image story play out and I come the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? It's like, for example, let's say, let's say the card is a strength card, right? I'll fucking see inside my head somebody getting bullied and then they have to overcome the bullying and then, and then get strong and shit like that. 
You know what I'm saying? But if I was sober, I would just feel like some type of strong energy. Or I may see a fucking lion. Because to me, lions represent strength. And on the strength card in tarot, it has a lion on it. You know what I'm saying? Or they raised from tarot deck at least. So it's like, it, it'll be shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or like, or like I'll feel like, okay, I could kind of feel the, the color yellow on this card. If the card has yellow on it. You know what I'm saying? But off the fucking weird, it'd be whole stories sometimes. It'd be all kinds of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Like, there's that aspect to it. I just feel like I should include that shit in there for the video. But like, yeah, weed, weed definitely does a lot of things. Blue Lotus, you know, add the Blue Lotus to the weed, that shit valid. I use all kinds of herbs. Mugwort, I use mugwort too. That's for me that opens me up on a feeling level. I could I could just like feel shit more. You know what I'm saying? Blue Lotus is a bit more psychic. I kind of just know shit just because I just know it. Just I just it just I just know that shit. I just know that shit. You know what I'm saying? There's other herbs too, but I'm gonna just leave it at those two for now. But um, yeah, bro, shrooms is valid as fuck too. With shrooms, bro, noticed I noticed that shrooms are like shrooms definitely make you more open also, but it's different than weed. It's like because you ingest it inside your gut, it's like your whole body is an open vessel kind of a thing. But sometimes you could like leave your body off shrooms too. But it's like it's like your it's like it unlocks things in your body more. Like weed is more just like especially with because you know you smoke weed, maybe with edibles. I don't really do edibles like that, so I can't fully see how edibles are with my spiritual like you know, I haven't I've done edibles in a spiritual state, but not how my mind is now for sure. You know what I'm saying? But like with weed, it's more like it opens your head up. And there is body shit too and feeling shit too, but it's more like your head. With shrooms, it's like your whole body is just like, yeah. And like it could unlock certain abilities too. But I, I've weed could unlock shit too. So I, I'm gonna make a video about weed versus shrooms at some point and, and, the, and the differences and how they help you evolve spiritually. And like how, and if you wanna evolve spiritually in one way, you should use weed and the other way you should use shrooms. And I'll make a video for that shit. But long story short, bro, if you want weed to help you, bro, if you want weed to be a spiritual tool, you literally just be like, yo, weed, help me spiritually evolve. Show me what I gotta see to spiritually evolve. Help me become a higher self. Help my spirit guides come through easier and show me what, and show me what I gotta see. You know what I'm saying? Weed can be used to just help you become more open and more receptive to your spirit guides and to other information. You know what I'm saying? So even if you wanna be like, yo, if you wanna use weed to be better at astrology, for example, because you'd be like, how the fuck does Mars feel? Let me get high and then think about Mars and try to feel Mars. That shit helps too. You can literally get high and then teach yourself how certain planets feel. You can literally get high with the gods and goddesses and see how the gods and goddesses feel and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So this like yeah bro weed is a powerful tool just don't just don't be using it every day all day because you're just trying to get high on some human personality bodily feeling good shit because like no bro when you use weed spiritually you tend to and if you like for like when you you like if you're trying to use weed spiritually and you use it too much you tend to feel like you're using it too much anyway you tend to feel like oh it's helping me but i also feel like i'm fucking up a little bit you kind of feel bad naturally but like i said for me bro weed has told me several times nigga do your job do your job like i'll only be smoking weed and it's like why am i not getting shit nigga do your job okay put the fucking butt down i do my job i come back smoke after everything comes the fuck through this, literally it's to the point now when i literally i like bro i could wake up and feel like okay i should not smoke in the morning right now i just don't feel like i should i feel like doing x y and z you know what i'm saying then this is i wake up like okay time to smoke in the morning you know what i'm saying and usually during those times it's like i'll wake up Feel like I should smoke in the morning. I'll smoke in the morning and I'll literally get like stuff from my dreams. It's like it's like it's like my mind, it's like I'll get high and, and I'll remember my dreams and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's not always like that. Sometimes I get the urge to just not smoke weed at all in the morning. I get the urge to just wait to do certain shit and then I smoke. I I can literally just feel when I shouldn't shouldn't smoke. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm operating more from a soul level, not from my not as much as my personality. Personality still pops inside there for sure, but it's not as much as it would be before. Or for the typical person who just use weed because they just want to feel some shit, you know what I'm saying? And they're trying to like they're trying to suppress like you know certain emotions and thoughts and shit like that, you know. And we can actually amplify certain shit too, which is weird because people use weed to suppress, but we can also amplify. So that's a weird thing too. But like, you know, I think I'm gonna just leave everything on that note, bro. It's been your boy Dan from Diamond Out Coaching and Entertainment. My coaching links are down below, or my links are down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you my next video. And, um, yeah, peace.